gonna show you how. Yeah, it's probably better that I uh, show you how to do something technical rather than try to entertain you, because uh, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, uh, guitar strings. You wanna change them? I'm gonna show you how. All right, well, you're gonna need to get started. Obviously, you're gonna need to have a guitar. Uh, your guitar tuner, doesn't have to be a fancy one. A new set of strings, I'm gonna use some ultra lights from uh, Martin. Uh, just because they were pretty inexpensive. Uh, this is a neat little tool for uh, winding uh, your guitar peg. makes it easier than, than twisting. And a pair of wire cutters, really. Uh, something like that will work just fine. When you get started uh, for stringing your guitar, there's two thoughts. Um, some people like to take their strings off completely and uh, replace them all at once, uh, taking all the tension off the neck. Some people like to do one string at a time, which keeps tension on the neck. Uh, people think that, uh, or people who have done the uh, one string at a time method, think that it makes a difference when you tune your guitar at the end, making that tune much faster. So I'm going to try that method today, one string at a time, and just to see how I like it. Right, step one, uh, you're going to need to take the tension off your string, this little um, handy winder, a uh, couple bucks at a guitar store. It fits on your guitar tuning peg like so, and then we're just going to take our tension off. You can definitely use your finger. Once the tension's off, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut our string. And make sure that you take the tension off. Otherwise, that's you know that's a few hundred pounds of pressure that could snap back in your eye. You can see at the hole that goes through the peg there. You're gonna to want to put it on a 45, kind of facing the center. So I get that on a 45. That'll make it nice and easy to. Sorry about that. Kind of blocking it. Pull it over. Sometimes it's hard to fight. And then I'll go ahead and snip that next wire right there. Now pull right out. Now down at the bottom of your guitar, this is your bridge, this little black part. Your string goes underneath this pin. We're going to pull this pin out and reinsert the new string below that. You can take a pair of pliers, which uh, if, if, if that's all you have, you know, put, put something underneath here. Your finger might work, but you're basically going to pull that and pull it up. Um, I don't like to use that because you have the chance of slipping and scratching your guitar. Um, the guitar winder that I bought has a nice little cutout right here, which is perfectly designed to come underneath your your peg right there and then you can go ahead and pull straight up and pull your your tuning peg or excuse me your uh, pull your peg out right there all right once you got your string removed um, we're gonna go ahead and get the pack of new strings and uh, if you look on the front of the package it tells you which strings you're gonna do this pack has two strings the third string and the sixth string and if you look at your uh, strings on your guitar, it's six strings, obviously. It starts from number one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth string, or the, the low E string, is the one that we've already taken off. Okay, installing the, uh, the new string, you've taken your, uh, your peg out, and you notice inside the peg there is a little groove. You can see that with the black, but there's a little slice out of there. That is going to face toward the neck of your guitar, and the reason that groove's in there is so the string can come up through the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and... and push that in like so. Just give it a little push and then a little tug, push it all the way in. Okay, now go ahead and pull the string all the way up to the, the neck. We're going to insert, we're going to insert the, uh, the end of the string in through here. Oh, and this is always the tricky part of trying to get the right amount of uh, distance here. Um, one kind of good rule of thumb that I've, I've seen other people do and that I've adapted as well is to kind of measure to the next next tuning peg and that will give a, a good distance of slack and it'll let you wind it to, uh, to the right angle. So now that you've got in here, measure here, measure to the, the, the pin above it, pull it down to yours and then you're going to go ahead and make, make an L bend in it like so. Just a nice 90 degree, 90 degree bend. All right, with your L in there, you're going to go ahead and bring it underneath your string toward the center. Okay, just like so. With your other hand, go ahead and push that into the groove. And I like to hold it um, with two fingers here and one finger down right there. And now with it L, you're going to kind of give it a slight bend so it stays up. Kind of like so. And that should be almost straight up. Now you're going to go ahead and tighten and when you tighten, it's going to turn against itself, and you're going to tighten straight across. Whoops. Let me uh, lift it up a bit. You're going to turn straight across, like so. Just like that, and it'll tighten up. 
as you keep going. It's very important to get, get down on top of that. Okay, now once you get a little tension, you're going to want to make sure that this gets below your string. You can start to see it to bite and still loose, not quite there. You want that to go below the next one. You want it to wind down underneath. There we go. You can see it taking. And I'm going to go ahead and strum as I as I tie as I wind. Okay, that's pretty much uh, tight. Um, at this point, you're going to go ahead and want to come down here to where your string is. Uh, it's got a little tension on it. Now you're going to kind of help it out. Now that it's 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 tight up at the top, you're going to go ahead and kind of give it a little pinch and work your fingers back and forth. And what you're doing is helping to stretch that string out. If you didn't do this, you would get it tuned, play a few chords, pick on a little bit, and it would loosen up and go out of tune. So we're just helping to get that natural stretch, not doing it too hard, just nice and easy. And you can hear how much it loosened up. And then we can even try it again. Okay, once your string is uh, pretty much stretched out, uh, get your guitar tuner, set it on, on top, turn it on. And then make sure you put it to the uh, low E string. That way you're tuning to the right, oops, that's the bass, uh, turn it to the right string. So I have 6E, so that's my sixth string, or E. And now I know I'm going to tune to the right, uh, the right string. So, Okay, once your guitar is, uh, uh, your strings changed and you're pretty much in tune, uh, you have two options. You can leave your string um, on it like that and coil it up as you've seen uh, my other ones. I kind of like to do that. It just makes it... Uh, um, Kind of a nice, uh, uh, nice soft thing. Um, sometimes when you cut it off with your pliers, um, you can have a nice poking uh, string. Which, if uh, you touch it, you can you can you know, poke your finger. And repeat the process for strings number five and four. Okay, now the uh, third string is uh, going to be just the reverse of your uh, six, five, and four. You're going to put it in there. Um, I'm going to uh, pull it up. Bring it back, put a right, a right 90 degree bend in there, bring it underneath. There's the old string, we'll put that down right there for now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put it underneath, go to the center of your guitar, and then you can see where it's underneath like that, that's the 90, and you're going to go ahead and tilt it up a little bit, and just, if it's easier, oops, uh, right, righty is loosey, so we're going to go left to tight, you want that to go towards the center. There we go. Now it's in there. It'll start to straighten up and get taut. And we'll test it out. All right, now that you got all your strings in and uh, pretty much uh, halfway tuned up, go ahead and uh, tune your guitar fully. I've gone ahead and done that. Should sound something like that. You're off and running. So hopefully you uh, <clears throat> enjoy the video. Picked up a couple tips, uh, you know, feel a little bit more capable about trying your own strings or someone else's. Um, if you do someone else's, make sure you ask them first. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, any questions, comments, leave them at the bottom.